In my last video, I was making some maple planks. Yes, I know it is weird, but those exist. And also willow planks exist. So you're telling me I could do a bunch of miscellaneous, get like 90,000 maples over, I don't know, like 100 days or something. And you could just turn them into 100K planks. I recently built this fort, right? There was no walls, nothing. You complete the quest, you build this, like ding, 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 all of it. And now it's yours. There's a bunch of stuff that you can like heat stuff. There's anvils, there's like plank making, all kinds of stuff that I haven't even unlocked. So if you check the plants here in the center, there are some buildings that you can build. Those that have this padlock, you need some sort of a quest completed, or maybe you need to build the previous tier to unlock it. But these don't require anything. All I need is some wooden frame and stone wall segments, and I can build a workshop, it seems. Oh wait, I already have the workshop, I just realized. I need a tier two, which is also doable, it seems. Not sure what's the difference, but how about we make it? I need some teak frames, and the way you make the frames, you first make the planks, and then you convert those planks into frames. So it takes like extra, again, like, this is like not even AFK. Wait, that's not the frames though. How do you make the frames? These are just, there's another. See, there's construct frames and process planks. So you just go here. Oh my God, you need like 16 of them, don't you? So out of the whole inventory, which looked like it was a lot, it was like 28 logs or 28 planks. And then you combine those planks into seven refined planks. And then you finally make the finished product, which is two maple frames. At least I'll have one left over, I think. Yeah, okay. Wait, how much are these? Are these even tradable? These are going for 49,000 each. I think I initially had 220 willow logs and I converted them into 22 frames. So I guess 10 logs makes one frame approximately. Now I have to use these limestone bricks as well. Oh my God, I forgot I still have like 200 of them and I'll have to mine so many more of these. How do you, you, you use a stone cutter to cut these? Yeah, you make only seven from these takes like 14 seconds or so, gives construction experience still, but yeah, mining these. So I unlocked the um, Shades of Morton minigame. It does have 1000 in stock, but then how do you bank? Unless you complete like In Search of Miracu and Aid of Miracu, all of those quests that will give you access to the bank in Bordarot. Wait, if I check the plans, you can actually have noted items like this. So I'm gonna build a command center. Wait, that was not the one that I was gonna work for. Oh, I need the teak frames for this one. What is a command center? Let's do this. Yep, that's the bank. And this is gonna be the command center. I'm gonna try building it without having these unnoted. Okay, it already consumed everything. So I'm assuming that that 9,000 experience that it showed, I didn't get it, it like instantly. So it's just gonna come in these slow XP drop. Now it looks like a normal building instead of having frames like in here. So now we can click manage on the research node. Wait, so this is only specifically for uh, archaeology. I thought maybe everything was in one single table. So then there's miscellaneous table. So yes, you can do it, but I don't have the quest completed, but you could do it remotely from here. But it's never really an issue, but it's just nice to have everything all in once. Look, there's even kingdom map, check approval, collect. You can, <laughs> I can't do any of those. Manage an acronia table. Okay, shows all the resources gained, but not the actual resources gained, I don't think. This is not even updated. So you just set these workers kind of like an idle game. You set them and they collect like resources and then you start upgrading these things, which I don't think I can upgrade anything at all yet. And there's another one, which is ports, which I cannot do it because I must first complete the tutorial within the port. I realize you can do ports at any level. You don't need level 90 as far as I know. Can I click teleport? Yes, but what am I doing in here? I need to build a lodestone. Look, where is that? Fort Fornity, I can't teleport. It's so annoying. I have to teleport to archeology span and walk all the way there. Oh, miscellaneous, is that gonna be the one? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I was looking through all those uh, plans and I couldn't find it. It's apparently in miscellaneous and all you need is 10 limestone brick. It wasn't even that difficult. As I was mining this limestone, I joined a friend chat called Whirlpool D&D. This is what they call Merchant. It's a guy that appears randomly, like if you're fishing and this screen turns dark and you can help other people like, oh, World 31, you can come and trade the traveling merchant. It's kind of weird because this is a, like a higher level place, you could say, because you need to access the fishing guild, which is what like, I forgot what is 67 fishing requirement or something. It's a fresh account. This is like a third episode, but I am 79 fishing, almost level 80. So what it's selling currently today is selling a livid plant, 
which gives produce points. If you remember that minigame, you know that evil minigame, nobody likes that minigame. You could skip it in a way, as long as you have a bunch of these livid plants. So I'm gonna buy this for 1 million coins, which apparently was my first purchase as well. And nothing else, no ancient effigies, because I will not be able to open it. It's called Livid Farm, yes. That's the minigame. Okay, let's build the lodestone. We don't even have to activate it. It's already activated by default. Okay, we have to get 20 teak frames. I have to literally chop like 200 teaks right now. How am I gonna do that? Is there any close banks? Randomly, as I got to 55 wood cutting, I checked it says wood box capacity increased by 10. I know that by doing that fort minigame or by building the fort, you can get some sort of wood box, which you can, I assume, deposit logs that you chop inside the box which i probably that should be my number one thing that i should be working on because now i chop full inventory of teaks and i teleport with dual ring and i walk all the way here yes there are better ways to chop it but all of them require some sort of mini game or quest anything special from these wild rewards oh my god i got wood cutting brawling gloves okay as i'm training wood cutting pretty much but i have to do it in worldy for the best experience and this one is eh, just nothing actually damn so this will last for 610 logs chopped i'll keep them in the bank for now though so good thing is that while i'm making all these planks i'm getting construction xp because apparently i need a level 60 to build a large padlock this is where you could breed cows gives a lot of xp and a lot of beans when i sell them Ooh, three are available let's build the regular workshop for 21k construction xp as well or somewhere in the workshop what else can you build from this it's already built but it's going to be tier 2 10 percent increased construction experience when constructing from blueprints i guess that's like the very first thing that i had to build if you want also increased construction experience these tier ones though are very important like town hall chapel and command center because they will replace these ugly looking nothing into actual buildings so let's try a chapel i'm just curious what uh, that will be about and the chapel will be built on the most eastern wall oh wait we have an altar of course and burners for incense so you can do, do the altar and you can offer ashes or bones and there's also something that you can burn you can burn any type of herb at the chapel oh, so it's no longer just mantle. doing so grants extra experience while training prayer by offering bones or ashes and occasionally saves offered materials all players on the same world contribute to a shared duration of burning herbs upgrading the chapel improves your experience the duration of herbs and saves even more materials at tier 1 offerings are worth 250 percent experience you have a three percent chance to save offerings imagine three percent chance in runescape 3 just imagine how powerful that altar is in old school where you have like 50% chance to save a bone. Each herb contributed by player adds 15 seconds of benefit. Boy, that's actually very low. So if you're soloing this, you only add 15 seconds. So you generally have to find a world with other people doing this. At tier two, it's worth 300% experience, 6% chance to save offering and adds 18 seconds. And then it's pretty much yeah 350 percent 10 percent chance to save offerings and 21 seconds per herb added. Is bank chat? No, wait. Oh, I, I thought I'd have to walk all the way from there or something. No way, there's a bank chest and you can just offer bones like this. You add the herbs uh, for another 30 seconds. Wait, it consume both of them. I thought I'm going to light one, light another one, but no. Okay, so I'm going to offer ashes and I just want to see the experience. This gives 156. This is generally lower than the thing in the wilderness. In the wilderness, I was getting at least like... 216 i think with nothing burnt you don't have to burn anything nothing okay uh let me build more of these i can do chapel tier one again what the hell Wait, can you do this over and over even though i built this already wait i want to see what happens if you start blueprint no damn it what we well, can still build it is it just for construction xp like can you just build these over and over and over and over and over, and over just to get the experience and uh Yep, it's, it doesn't seem like anything happened at all. It is literally the same chapel. So I'm going to try to make that fletching room, but apparently this, these are the requirements. I have built chapel, workshop, command center. I believe I built literally everything and completed the new foundations quest. So I have to do murder on the border quest and welcome guests and then dead and buried. And then I can train fletching. 
Oh my god, I haven't. Yes, new building. Let's build it. Let's go. Let's see what this one is all about. Okay, so this town hall that I just built looks beautiful. There's a fireplace. There's shadows. Like, so, oh, so cozy. This is where you sleep, apparently. This is where you get a rested experience, I believe. Hey, level 60 woodcutting. Before I did those quests, I chopped some Acadia logs. And this is the place where I collected a little bit of reputation. And I said, just in case I'm gonna chop these logs sometime in the near future, I'm gonna unlock this, this uh, deposit box. Because before this you could not bank these logs anywhere you would have to teleport out and come back to this place there's a bank here but it's also not accessible you need like level 7 reputation or something so very good that I've done that because I think I chopped like 500 maybe of these now I think it's enough actually oh my god I got 600 man it was afk what can i say these planks give 15 experience per you can see it adds up little by little and i'm 57 right now so i'm three levels away from building that large pen in my player owned farm for them cows i can't believe it i remember when i started building this i, I think i was like 35 construction and i said like maybe i'm gonna get to level 40 yeah Bro, no, way too much XP. Okay, and welcome guest is completed. There's one more quest left to do. Look at this, making four Acadia frames. That's like 1.1K experience gained in total. I'm already at 63 construction. Yes, yesterday I've done a bunch of quests and I actually didn't have to finish the final quest because the final quest, it, it showed at least on YouTube that it was 48 minutes long. And I was like, man, come on. And you build it in the very beginning. Yes, yeah, so this is the ranging house. This is where you train fletching. Now, as far as I can see, there's only ammo, fletch, and string. So it's pretty much the same. Like, at least in the early game, you can do, like, tip arrows. And it's just, like, bronze arrows. You need level 1 fletching. You need the same bronze arrowheads, the same headless arrows. And you just make it on the table. Then there's, like, spinning wheel. 2% chance for the workroom to supply materials while fletching various weapons and ammo. And 1% chance to fletch extra bundle of arrow shafts in the workroom. But that's so little. That's, like, nothing. So, wait, is that, like, the only benefit that you get from the fletching room? Maybe, like, tier 3 or something? Oh, yeah, it must be, like, dino arrows or something. I've, I've seen a lot of people talking about them. Like at least a couple months ago so what i'll do now i'm gonna chop a bunch of regular logs gonna fletch them into those arrowheads and then you know attach feathers and get all the way to level 15 and then you can start using oaks to i'm going to assume because you can do that in old school so i'm gonna assume that in this game you can also just fletch them into arrow shafts probably like 2000 is gonna be enough I'm gonna add the feathers and then I'm gonna mine some bronze right now which i'm gonna be using this mithril ore box to put everything inside the box so I don't have to like bank as often so all you have to do just drag it click one and it doesn't even interrupt mining if you drag it like this you just click fills i need to make now the arrowheads but how many do you make but oh you make okay i think i got too many bars but it's okay you make 75 i thought you make 50 bronze arrowheads per go the reason why you make so many instead of like 15 i think is it is an old school is because it takes time because when you do this it has to fill this up now it fills up so quickly because it is a bronze item at the end of the day it is level one and i am 33 wow that was way too quick so unfortunately you cannot like select multiple ones so the, the moment you click one and it just keeps going until you smelt this whole thing you could do something like this where you open this and you just keep going like so you open space open space open space and you can see my inventory is now filling up with these unfinished items. And now as you get full inventory of them, you can just click Smith and it will automatically smelt the whole inventory. See, you finish this one, keeps going. I didn't click anything. You know, it is crazy how you actually have to mine your own rocks. You have to submit them and make your own arrowheads in order for this to work because you cannot help worlds, you know, when you're buying from shops like you would in old school. So the only way to obtain these arrowheads is through training the actual skill. So that says you just go ammo fletching and you can make like headless arrows like this. You can go all the way to 60. Wait, does it do 60 also like this? Okay. I thought maybe it increases like AFK time or something. So you just leave it. Okay, 70 seconds. Yep, I did a mistake. I didn't realize that this is gonna give so much XP that I got all the way to 15 already, which I can already make these iron arrowheads. And that's like way more XP as well. So I think what I'll do, I'll just waste these these took like no time to make them regardless i wasted maybe like 10 minutes only level 24 fletching now the biggest question is will i have to keep chopping those regular trees or did they make it so you can craft an oak log and get oh you can 
more auto chaps as well instead of 15 you're getting 20 well that means it's way more afk now i can chop oaks to get those arrow heads but that also means i will be able to upgrade i think maybe even now can i upgrade no okay need six oak logs in total we're gonna be upgrading this wood box because i want to fill it see i can't doesn't allow me to put any oak logs because it's a regular one okay captain now oak wood box boom upgrades have been made yes okay now i can fill it yeah so apparently the box holds 140 logs not 120 even more plus the inventory technically i don't actually need to bank i could just like craft the logs immediately and make them into arrow shafts I actually timed this it took me less than one hour to collect a thousand oak logs i'm gonna fletch all of them i don't know if i'm gonna need all of these arrow shafts because that's gonna be like twenty thousand. And I actually don't even know if this is the way you train fletching in RuneScape 3. Didn't look it up, but I believe so. Wow, that's going to be like 20,000 feathers also attached. I don't even know if I can buy that many. But that means my fletching will be way too high. It's currently 25. Watch this now. I'm going to make 20,000 arrow shafts. Look at this. Finish doing these 20,000 headless arrows. My current fletching level is 39. So I have to use steel arrow tips specifically right now, but I already have smithing level to smith mithril, even though it's supposed to be, what is it, like 50 in old school? And here it's only level 30, so smithing is no longer a problem. Once I get to 45, I can start doing mithril because I can already smith it. So let's not overdo it, but I still don't want to use any calculators because I'm too lazy. I'm going to mine a bunch of steel. We're going to make steel arrowheads, just not too many. Don't make like 10,000. Look at this. I got 427 mithril bars. Yes, I mined that much coal and that much mithril so I can make a bunch of these arrowheads. And I, in fact, got even more headless arrows. So I think we're going to go all the way to level 60 fletching. I'm already 45. All right, guys, I converted all of those 400 plus mithril bars into arrowheads, and now I'm going to be fletching. Hopefully, get all the way to level 60 fletching for that mahogany wood box so we can put more different kinds of trees inside the box. But I'm going to be ending the video here. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.